Well, tonight, the Filipino American Association of Greater Columbia celebrated one of their biggest events, their 31st annual gala, with the theme being the Mascara Festival. I got to check it out for myself. Singing, dancing, and food, the best recipe for a night to remember. Saturday, the Filipino American Association of Greater Columbia hosted hundreds of people at the R2I2 Conference Center for their annual gala and mascara festival. The festival was established back in 1980 during a difficult time for the country. It's a festival brought out by calamity and uh, difficulty. Um, the people, some people had died in a boat accident and also the sugar prices were affected by imports. So it affected the economy and the people and the people decided to smile so that they could persevere through any type of ad adversity. Mascara, it's, it's called uh, many smiling faces. And when I think of home, when I think of the Philippines, I think of smiling faces. Whatever the Filipinos go through, there's always a smile on their face. The association says it took about six months to prepare. There were six dances from three regions in the Philippines, as well as the Filipino national anthem, and of course, masks. The Filipino costumes, because and, and most important is the uh, camaraderie. Kiara Cox, the association's music and art ambassador, tells me the group's mission is to preserve their culture, foster relationships, and support young Filipino Americans through scholarships. She adds that with Filipino American History Month in October, there are lots of ways for folks in the Midlands to learn more about everything they have to offer. Now, if you'd like to learn more about these upcoming events for Filipino American History Month, you can check out our website, WLTX.com.